2 Samuel chapter 4 When Saul's son heard that Abner had died in Hebron, he lost heart and all Israel was troubled. Now Saul's son had two men who were captains of troops. The name of one was Baana and the name of the other Rechab, the sons of Rimon, the Bereothite, of the children of Benjamin. For Bereoth was also part of Benjamin because the Bereothite fled to Gitaim and have been sojourners there until this day. Jonathan's son had a son who was lame in his feet. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Israel, and his nurse took him up and fled. And it happened, as she made haste to flee, that he fell and became lame. His name was Mephibosheth. Then the sons of Rimon, the Beorothite, Rechab and Baana set out and came at about the heat of the day to the house of Ishbosheth, who was lying on his bed at noon. And they came there all the way into the house, as though to get wheat, and they stabbed him in the stomach. Then Rechab and Baana, his brother, escaped, for when they came into the house, he was lying on his bed in his bedroom. Then they struck him and killed him beheaded him and took his head and were all night escaping through the plain and they brought the head of Ishbosheth to David at Hebron and said to the king here is the head of Ishbosheth the son of Saul your enemy who sought your life and the Lord has avenged my lord the king this day of Saul and his descendants but David answered Rechab and Baana his brother the sons of Rimon the Beorothite, and said to them, As the Lord lives, who has redeemed my life from adversity, when someone told me, saying, Look, Saul is dead, thinking to have brought good news, I arrested him and had him executed in Ziklag. The one who thought I would give him a reward for his news. How much more, when wicked men have killed a righteous person in his own house, on his bed? Therefore, Shall I not now require his blood at your hand and remove you from the earth? So David commanded his young men, and they executed them, cut off their hands and feet, and hanged them by the pool in Hebron. But they took the head of Ishbosheth and buried it in the tomb of Abner in Hebron. 2 Samuel chapter 5 Then all the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron and spoke, saying, Indeed, we are your bone and your flesh. Also, in time past, when Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel out and brought them in. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and be ruler over Israel. Therefore, all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and King David made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was thirty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years. In Hebron he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned thirty-three years over all Israel and Judah. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem against the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, who spoke to David, saying, You shall not come in here, but the blind and the lame will repel you, thinking, David cannot come in here. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, that is, the city of David. Now David said on that day, Whoever climbs up by the way of the water shaft and defeats the Jebusites, the lame and the blind, who are hated by David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Therefore they say, The blind and the lame shall not come into the house. Then David dwelt in the stronghold and called it the city of David. And David built all around from the Milo and inward. So David went on and became great, and the Lord God of hosts was with him. Then Hiram king of Tyre sent messengers to David and cedar trees and carpenters and masons. And they built David a house. 
So David knew that the Lord had established him as king over Israel, and that he had exalted his kingdom for the sake of his people Israel. And David took more concubines and wives from Jerusalem after he had come from Hebron. Also, more sons and daughters were born to David. Now these are the names of those who were born to him in Jerusalem. Shamoa, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibhar, Elishua, Nephek, Japhia, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphelet. Now the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel. All the Philistines went up to search for David. And David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. The Philistines also went and deployed themselves in the valley of Rephaim. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said to David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into your hand. So David went to Baal Perazim, and David defeated them there. And he said, The Lord has broken through my enemies before me, like a breakthrough of water. Therefore he called the name of that place Baal Perazim. And they left their images there, and David and his men carried them away. Then the Philistines went up once again and deployed themselves in the valley of Rephaim. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, and he said, You shall not go up, circle around behind them, and come upon them in front of the mulberry trees. And it shall be, when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the mulberry trees, then you shall advance quickly. For then the Lord will go out before you to strike the camp of the Philistines. And David did so, as the Lord commanded him, and he drove back the Philistines from Geba as far as Gezer.